Mr. Speaker, thank you. I rise in support of H.R. 2988, the DOE and NASA Interagency Research Act. The Department of Energy and NASA have a long history of collaboration which has enhanced their understanding of our, it's enhanced our understanding, I should say, of our universe and our ability to explore beyond our planet. The Voyager spacecraft, which was launched more than 40 years ago, Voyagers, were now, are now flying in interstellar space, continue to operate under DOE's propulsion systems. The work of DOE and NASA are doing on nuclear energy is critical to our ability to establish a long-term human presence on the moon. And that same technology can be used here on Earth, too, helping to improve this clean and reliable energy source. The DOE-NASA partnership will also help us advance our high-performance computing systems, which help keep us at the forefront of research and development. This partnership will also help us with satellite development, space situational awareness, and even planetary defenses from near-Earth objects. In short, it allows two of our premier scientific agencies to better work by collaborating on some of our most challenging scientific issues. I'd like to thank my colleague, Representative Williams, for introducing this legislation and Representative Sorensen for co-sponsoring it. This bipartisan bill earned unanimous support in the Science Committee, and I urge my colleagues to give it that same support on the floor today. I reserve the balance of my time. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and thank you, Mr. Chairman. I rise as a proud sponsor, along with my colleague across the aisle, Mr. Sorensen, uh, for this bill, H.R. 2988, the DOE and NASA Interagency Research Coordination Act. This legislation authorizes the U.S. Department of Energy and the NASA, sorry, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration to carry out research and development activities focused on the advancement of shared DOE and NASA, NASA mission priorities. Now, of course, the DOE and NASA have been cooperating for a very long time, but this allows it to be done in a more efficient, more focused way, which includes research and development in critical technology areas like radiation health effects, something I know something about, quantum information science, high energy physics, and data analytics. DOE has a long and productive history of interagency collaboration with NASA, as I alluded to. Over the decades, this relationship has evolved to include new areas of research, such as Earth and environmental sciences. For example, NASA and DOE have established a joint lab known as the NASA Space Radiation Laboratory. Now, I'm proud to tell you that this uh, joint effort is at the Brookhaven National Lab in my home state of New York. And I would be remiss in not bragging that uh, the work that has gone on at Brookhaven has led to seven Nobel Prizes. And I had the honor of touring them and seeing these amazing instruments that they have, an 800 meter long track that's accelerating x-rays uh, to near the speed of light, doing absolutely amazing science. Imagine what will grow out of this cooperation. The uh, Brookhaven booster synchrotron, which is what I was just referring to, uh, can simulate cosmic radiation conditions in space and allows them to study its impact on astronaut health and spacecraft instrumentation. In addition, H.R. 2988 requires the secretary and the administrator to conduct these activities in a manner consistent with the strong security provisions of the Science Committee passed uh, in the Chips and Science Act of 2022. As the Energy Subcommittee Chairman, one of my top priorities is research security. And the inclusion of this language will protect our nation's investments from hostile foreign actors, such as China and Russia. I would like to thank my colleague, Mr. Sorensen, for working with me on this important legislation and continuing the bipartisan tradition of the Science Committee. H.R. 2988 is the kind of common sense, good governance bill that we can all agree on. It shows that Republicans and Democrats are still capable of putting political differences aside to advance meaningful bills that strengthen U.S. leadership in science and maximize the return on investment for the American taxpayer. On a personal note, I want to just take a moment to thank my mother, for inspiring a lifelong love of science in me. And also thank you, Mr. Chairman, for allowing me to be a part of science, space, and technology as it 
uh, grows and shines in the United States. I urge my colleagues to support this bill. With that, I yield back the balance of my time. Someone recognized. H.R. 2988, the DOE and NASA Interagency Research Act, is smart legislation that will help us stay competitive in the race to return humans to the moon and send them to Mars. Without key collaborations like this, we would be unable to make critical strides in our energy production and propulsion technologies. I want to thank Representative Williams and Representative Sorensen for their leadership in moving this bill forward. I urge my colleagues to support it, and I yield back the balance of my time, Mr. Speaker.